Hello, everybody. It's Marlon O'Bannon. Listen up, guys. When I joined the Army back in 1984, um, uh, I was excited, you know what I mean, going to the Army with the uh, possibility uh, of traveling all around the world and being a part of, uh, you know, being a part of that, uh, 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 I was very patriotic, you know, just being a part of the United States military. It was just something I was very excited about. And so when I entered into basic training, um, uh, I was kind of uh, disappointed early on because the 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 the, 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 the exercises and things we did every day were very, they were very physically challenging. And, and um, I didn't have a lot of upper body strength. I was very little. And, um, it was very rigorous, the, the exercises that we had to do every morning in PT. And my drill sergeants pulled me aside one day and they said, you know, we're really, really concerned about you because we don't know if you're going to be able to pass the physical fitness test that's going to be coming up soon because you're just not, I just wasn't, they were telling me I just wasn't thriving physically. Uh, I, I, the push-ups, the, the sit-ups, the, the rigorous stuff. The running was cool because I was a runner. So that was that was cool. I, I could run. So I could I was a smoker, and I could actually smoke. If, I mean, really, this is how good I was at running. I probably I could smoke a cigarette if I wanted to, run two miles smoking cigarettes all along, and beat 80% of the other people in my platoon. But now I'm getting away from the point. I'm just telling you that, hey, I was a runner. I'm pretty proud of that. But the other part, the physical part, the push-ups and stuff like that, particularly the push-ups, I wasn't that good at. And in order to pass basic training, you have to be able to do so many push-ups, you have to be able to do so many sit-ups, and you have to be able to complete a, the, the, uh, 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 two miles on a specified amount of time you know, on the run. So anyway, I was a little, I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was scared, you know, I was worried that, wow, you know, I want to really do this, I want to be a soldier, but, uh, you know, I, I'm not thriving in the physical uh, aspect of, of what some of the prerequisites are going to be to pass. And so what I did is every night after the rest of the trainees would go to sleep, I would just get up out of my bunk and I would just practice my push-ups, really. I would, I, I would do in, what they call inverted push-ups. I would put my feet up on the bottom of my bunk and I would actually do push-ups that way, you know what I mean? But I, that's what I would do. Every night when everybody else was asleep, I'd be doing these extra sets of push-ups, man. I mean, I did it every night. I mean, this is in addition to what we had to do in the daytime. And let me tell you what happened and the beauty of what happened. Uh, by the time we had to take the physical fitness test, I had done that so long and for so much that I actually was able to crank out about 25 or 30 more push-ups than I was required to do. Which is, which is, at that time, I believe I had to do at least 75 push-ups. I believe I did close to 100. Am I proud of myself? Yes, I am. And, and the reason I mention that is to tell you that we do best what we do most. By constantly, by, by taking the extra time to go that extra mile when everybody else was sleeping at night and doing some extra push-ups over time, I built my upper body, and over time, I I acquired the stamina and the endurance I needed to thrive, and I started to thrive. In fact, I went above and beyond, and and yes, I was proud, and yes, I was even prouder when I passed the test in the top two or three percent of my whole platoon. You know what I mean? And and of course, the drill sergeants were happy when I graduated and get walked across that stage as a United States soldier now, not trainee, but. But more importantly, um, not just the challenge that they uh, had for me in the standard. It was a challenge and a set of standards that I set for myself. And I'm telling you that when you set your own standard and you raise the bar, there is no limit to what you'll be able to accomplish. If you're looking for a way to make money online, if you're looking for a way to make money on home, from home, if you're looking for a way to make money on the Internet, you start your own business then one of the things you have to do is be willing to dig in and do what's necessary to get to where it is you want to be. And sometimes it may not be, get, forget about this traditional uh, 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 stuff that you probably heard about in the past. Things are changing, okay? Um, you you got to think out the box, okay? You got to think out the box. You got, to, first of all, you got to get involved with an opportunity or, and a group of people that's willing to show you if you don't know how, and then you got to be willing to have an open mind to follow the ta tactics and the strategies and the techniques, if as it were, that's going to get you there. But 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 beyond that, you have to say to yourself, and you have to set a standard for yourself that sometimes is going to put you in a place where you have to rise above. Okay, you have to go that extra mile. 
You know what I mean? The only difference between extra, oh, well, the difference between extra and extra extraordinary is that little extra, okay? Okay? So know that once you apply yourself, once you set a standard, you know, challenge yourself, then that's where the real test began. But that's where the real results come to, okay? So I have the platform. All that's missing from the platform now, the only ingredient that's missing is you. You know that I'm a part of the Empower Network. You know the kind of success they're having because you've seen the Empower Network everywhere. And if you haven't, it's just because you've been sleeping on a rock. But if you are serious about making money online, if you are serious about taking your life to the next level, if you don't mind setting some standards for yourself, challenging yourself to get to that next plateau in your life, and you want to do something different, then you definitely are in the right place at the right time. You guys know me. I'm Marlon O'Bennett. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm an entrepreneur. But more importantly, I'm a person that wants to help anybody who's willing to help themselves and who are serious about it. If that person is you, then I'm talking directly to you. And I hope that this message resonates with you. And I hope that I'm going to actually give you a call to action. And that is to click the link below this video. And let's get the ball rolling. Let me show you a free video that's going to show you how you can uh, how you can do this. At least you at least owe it to yourself to get the information, right? Come on, let's make it happen. Okay, click the link below the video and let's get started. As always, this is Marlon Bennett wishing you guys wisdom, peace, prosperity, and to a life without limits. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.